1968 to uh, serve there, running the computers in all the depots. Right. And I had found out there was some interesting things, and we're talking 1960s research right, right, here. Right. But we were wondering, uh, what kind of a guy does it take to be a good computer programmer? Because right. we were doing a lot of programming in various languages then. Uh, Fortran, mm -hmm. COBOL. One of them was called Jovial, yeah. which was Jules' own version of an integrated algebraic language. Huh. We had all these different kind of languages out there right. people were programming in. And the question was, how do you find somebody who's going to be a good programmer before he gets into all that stuff? Mm -hmm. We thought, well, People who don't like to do crossword puzzles. No, it didn't work out. Uh, people who like to do algebra problems. No, that didn't work out. Uh, we tried various things that might, chess players, that right. didn't work out. But you know what didn't work out? What? Part-time musicians. <laughs> Strangely enough, the ability to look at a sheet of paper and hear the melody right. is somewhat similar so looking at that coding sheet and kind of feeling the ones and zeros yeah. flow through. Interesting. And so uh, uh, we called it special perception. Huh. And that's how we began to look for uh, programmers who would do a good job.